Okay, in this video I would like to show another cell touching circuit, but uh, now it will be controlled by external uh, trigger. In the prior examples we showed how to create a cell touching circuit with the button and a relay and uh, with the button connected to the trigger wire. Now this circuit is slightly different. Uh, this is, uh, for example, if you want to use it in a vehicle where your ignition wire will uh, will start the countdown so for example i want to as soon as the ignition uh, is on i want to turn the timer for let's say five seconds and supply the power to the load for five seconds maybe five hours maybe an hour but uh, basically you would connect a diode uh, if we would compare those two circuits you'll find that here we have a button that connects the power to the timer here instead of the button we have external source we need a diode because we don't want the uh, we don't want the power from the our power source feed back into the ignition so when the ignition is off zero volts it should be zero volts even if the timer still powered that's why the diode is here um, so let's configure it to the function uh, 13 so what I have here I have an uh, example of that circuit and I'm going to connect so this is my trigger or ignition wire and this is my diode so I'm going to connect it first so I, I'm, I'm, I can supply the power to the timer to configure it so push two buttons supply the power release two buttons setting up to, uh, for five seconds release going to the next mode Trigger is 1, function is 13. Thirteen, And that's it. So if I'll connect ignition to the diode, you, you can hear the relay clicks for 5 seconds. And disconnects. If we supply the power and keep it on to the diode, it's still going to shut off. Disconnect, supply again. Here you go.